Hello, I'm Gavin Harper on behalf of EcoGeek.org. I'm here talking to Jim Gibb about Tide Energy. Um, Jim's from Rotec and he's going to tell me a little bit about the technology. The um, tidal turbine you're looking at is a one megawatt device. sits on the sea, 45 metres in depth. We have existing designs up to about two, two and a half megawatts. And it's fully scalable right down to very small. Uh, so it could be used in, in shallow water in almost any location. Can you tell me, have you evaluated any potential test sites for this technology? This particular device is being tested on the EMEC test site near Orkney uh, off the, the north coast of Scotland. There are many other areas around Scotland where tidal power is very strong and um, would be ideally suited to this, this application. Hello, I'm Gavin Harper from ecogeek.org and I'm talking to Dr Tim Stallard of the University of Manchester, part of the Manchester Bobber development team. So, you're going to tell us about the Manchester Bobber. Uh, yeah, the Manchester Bobber is a, uh, a wave energy device for deployment in various climates around the UK, hopefully Europe. Uh, it consists of 25 heaving floats. Uh, each float is supported by a, a drivetrain, individual drivetrain for each float, um, uh, which, in, which consists of a, a pulley over which the, the float runs, uh, and that drives a flywheel through a clutch. So as the float moves down, the uh, flywheel is accelerated, uh, and as the float moves back up, the clutch is disengaged so it doesn't degrade the motion of the flywheel. And how much uh, power does each bobber unit produce? From our calculations of power capture in irregular seas for a representative Scottish climate, uh, we, we, we find that the power capture is about 160 kilowatts on average from this 500 kilowatt generator. So it's quite a reasonable capacity factor and, that, and that's from irregular seas which is quite important to note. Okay, and how close to commercialisation is the Manchester bobber? Uh, it's getting there, it's reasonably good. We've got a uh, quite a strong consortium of industrial partners who are developing particular parts of the drivetrain uh, um, and a series of 100 scale tests and 10 scale tests have been completed and we're presently getting investor funding to um, move to an offshore demonstrator project at the European Marine Energy Centre at EMEC. Um, so we're hoping that that's going to happen in 2009, the, the actual deployment, um, and then commercialisation should follow with interest of companies uh, after that. Hello there, I'm talking to Sean McGrath from Aquamarine Power on behalf of ecogeek.org. Sean, can you tell us a little bit about your Oyster innovation? Oyster is a wave energy converter and it's designed to be installed near shore in 10 metres of water depth, um, which means that it's easy to access and easy to install. Um, it's a very, very simple wave energy converter. It is basically a large pump which pumps seawater onto shore into standard hydroelectric power conversion plant and um, it uses a marinized Pelton wheel uh, which has also been used for quite a while by desalination um, plant. We are also developing Oyster so that it can power um, reverse osmosis desalination and generate fresh water because Oyster is a pump which pumps seawater so you can do away with that with the fossil fuel element in desalination and um, generate um, fresh water renewably and cleanly. We're also looking at co-generation whereby you can produce electricity and fresh water um, using at the village level in say West Coast Africa um, and it can be used for irrigation and power production but the primary um, market for Oyster at the moment will be in um, Europe and North America to produce clean electricity from ocean waves. OK, so how close to commercialisation is your innovation? We are going to deploy Oyster at EMEC, the European Marine Energy Centre in Orkney, and the plan is to deploy this summer, weather permitting, and we hope to um, demonstrate a full-scale um, Oyster pump for one year before adding additional pumps and again at EMEC next year and then um, we will be installing our first commercial plants um, by 2010. Okay, and how much power does your device produce? The prototype is designed uh, for 350 kilowatts. Okay, thank you very much Sean, all the best.